Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Sessions of the Keep It Simple channel and where the Dobsonian is king. But today we have a, a bit of a problem because of the weather. I don't know if we, we will see the Alex Nebula or other object. Something we will see for sure with the 6-inch Dobsonian which is this telescope over here actually it's more like this today it's modded already I'm preparing a video with the mods I wanted first to test I don't like to release upload videos without having uh, sure what, what I'm going to I'm doing and now I'm finished with these mods that I have simple mods but uh, one is very important which is this this shroud but is a bit different the, than the other shrouds that you are used to to see you will see that in the video this was I tested uh, different shrouds I made different shrouds and this one was the best the best one and another another mods because I know that some people bought the telescope this telescope and I want to help them to res resolve solve these things faster now we will have also community picture section later and uh, some of you if not all that are here uh, should have seen the um, the short that I released from uh, Mazif it was my gift to Mazif and I may do that in the future with other of your uh, other uh, use, uh, viewers and other pictures from you to show to the world in other ways not only here in the community picture section but show to others beginners mainly that want to do EAA which is what we are going to do now for the ones that don't know, we are going to do a session of EAA Electronically Assisted Astronomy, a bit of astrophotography, a quick astrophotography at the end, just to enhance the, the final picture. But we are watch, what we will watch in real time an object of the sky, of our universe. Now, um, I want to show you first something. We will try at least because of the weather this is like this uh, it's not this one that I want to show you it's from NASA this side from NASA that I like very much I will select HD we are streaming from the south of Europe in the Iberian Peninsula in Algarve Portugal and we have a problem <laughs> because we are getting clouds from the south. I was studying the wind this um, afternoon and they forecasted wind. You see, when we have uh, green, it's, it's, it's strong wind. We want to be in the blue. We are kind of in the middle of the range. But I thought this wind, because if I I push further it's getting south so I thought it will push this all these clouds that came from Africa to south but it was not like that it's not so bad as it seems because I can see the Milky Way I can see the constellations the the stars are not so bright and the objects will not be of course so sharp and so powerful but I have a plan B so let me close this I will show you because I was testing something before the the stream start and I will show you I will open SharpCap which is the software I use to connect with the sky to watch everything okay not like this I will slide this here. Okay. So 
the telescope is already aligned and focused. I'm using uh, this, this telescope is a six inch go to so it tracks the sky and uh, it's a f5 but it's working today as usual with a focal reducer uh, inexpensive one so it's working at 3.6 of ratio f ratio so with a lower focal rank much faster much brighter and as you can see with this specifically with this telescope this 16 inch from Skywatcher we still have the the coma the distortions at the edges but they are no not so pronounced as they are in the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope so it depends on the telescope I'm saying this I like to to reinforce this message because many of you uh, often ask me and also want to buy and buy some of you bought a, a, an inexpensive focal reducer this is not a Arizona Nexus this is a good reducer this is a, a, a cheap focal reducer <coughs> and it will always have distortions around the edges this is a 294 camera so a large sensor but in this telescope in the 6 inch it's working uh, more or less fine you can see that the edges are not so distorted I will zoom for you to see we have the the distortions here this is the tracking now you have the distortions the this coma all this coma but only if you zoom you will notice it because like this with a large sensor camera auto with a large sensor camera uh, it was supposed to have more distortions and we don't have uh, so much this what we are uh, we are watching uh, in real time now is the salt and pepper here at the bottom uh, cluster you see hold on this is the salt and the pepper this is a, a beautiful cluster that uh, that many people like to watch like me but uh, there's another uh, great uh, nebula here which is my plan b for tonight because if you notice the background although is uh, greenish because of the the clouds it's not so greenish as it is on the position of the helix nebula because the helix nebula is at south more or less southeast south and this uh, over the ocean and at a low altitude maybe around 20 right now i don't know so with the haze of the ocean and those clouds mix it with those clouds and also the light pollution from the city it will uh, increase the the turbulence and the lack of transparency and we amateur astronomers have to deal with that kind of problems every night so this is the bubble nebula here it's a plan b that we have to watch to live stack if the helix it's not so good i want to you to compare to pay attention to the background which means the black greenish black uh, sky that we are watching here with a bit of vignetting which is normal in this sensor uh, besides this telescope is a one and a quarter uh, focuser so it's and with a focal reducer you will have always vignetting even that you, you don't use any accessory you will have this vignetting with this large sensor camera and i want you to compare with uh, what we are going to see at the lower uh, altitude because this nebula the bubble is a uh, more or less 50 60 degrees altitude and I want you to compare what is a, a lack of transparency because of the ocean haze mainly and the clouds, the thin clouds. If we have a decent or at least something that we can work with, with the helix, we move on to the helix. If I see we can't do that in a decent way, we come back to this beautiful nebula, the bubble nebula, which is in a darker uh, side of the sky let me turn the air conditioner lower this because this is hot here we are still in the summer hot nights so let me first 
watch the chat besides the helix is going up and up in the sky so we don't have to be with rush welcome hector quasar hello <laughs> Artemis, Artemis, yes, they had uh, some kind of a problem and safety is first, blah, 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 okay. We want to, to see that successful mission and then we will have uh, people there, humans there, and it's uh, one more step for the future. We all deeply know, even that mm, often people want to deny that and uh, say it's science fiction, it's a matter of time, and you know, as I do, that uh, time is nothing here because our existence is just a grain uh, uh, of sand in, in, uh, in a beach, no? In, question, in a matter of time. Hello, Steven. How are you? Anna, Canariana, RCW. Hello. Hi Tiago, I made it. Greg from Australia. Hello Greg. Uh, Greg uh, is um, a good fellow. He had, for the people that use Reddit, I don't use too much social networks. I have, uh, I post sometimes in, uh, I post every week the videos on the Dobsonian groups on, uh, on Facebook and that's all. Uh, it's a different uh, kind of audience there loads of uh, weird people but as it has very nice people of course that's why I, I post there but I don't connect too much and I have to be always blocking people insulting and things like that I don't like that kind run away from negative people that's my advice for everybody not only as an astronomer as a, a, a human run away from don't surround by negative people get rid of them only positive like you that's why I love these live streams. And if you like, uh, if you have an equatorial platform, he opened a group in Reddit called uh, uh, Dobsonian in Equatorial Platforms. It's for people, it's a new group, so it's natural that it has uh, almost no one. I was there to support him because it's a good guy and I like to support good people. And it's from Australia, a great country, a great side of, uh, of uh, part of our of our planet we have no countries almost today we have a planet earth and that's it we are humans all equal with different cultures uh, of course like this astronomy ao vivo from brazil boa noite brazil love it we have different cultures but we are all the same good and bad Hello Edward, I am on comets now, dimmer ones. I tell you, I was uh, tracking the asteroids for the people that asked me. The QX4, it was a good for today, a good one for today, but only for the 12 inch Topsonian because it's uh, with a magnitude of around 16, it's too, too dim, and uh, only with a 12 inch Topsonian it's fainter than Pluto which we saw here so i i gave up because of the sky if i had a very nice scene today and uh, no wind and i placed the dosson in the 12 inch i i would go to the comet uh, that to the asteroid that asteroid today is closer to earth but it's still far away not so bright so i i gave up just to to tell you i was tracking closer the the three three asteroids mainly this weekend to watch watching us uh, to find our alien friends friends you said well salted wasabi welcome back there must be some something out there we may never watch them and and get close to them but it's impossible because just a matter of probably probabilities of so many stars, so many galaxies, trillions, 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 and trillions, and more trillions, and what we don't know yet. Aliens looking at us right now, 
from Andromeda. Who knows? Probably also using Dobsonian power. They are looking. They are watching dinosaurs <laughs> because they they are watching us in the past. Maybe <laughs> also using. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Netherlands. Hello. How are you, Armand? Beautiful country also in Europe. That's it. Koji, have you ever dealt with field of rotation? Always. We are dealing with it right now. You will see if we can, we will watch more pronounced in this nebula because it's at north. It's near north and uh, rather than the Helix Nebula. There are places on the, uh, at the sky that uh, are worse with the rotation. Always, always. In Altezimut mode, Artemis. Would you recommend the scope you are using for a beginner? Absolutely. This is the scope that right now I recommend right now for a beginner to buy. When it's very inexpensive, it costs around 500 bucks or less. I saw in in uh, United States it's cheaper. In, here in Europe is around one, uh, 500 euros, so the dollar it's uh, it's uh, lower than the euro, so it's cheaper and it it has it, has it all. You don't need uh, you just need a camera and hopefully a camera like the one I'm using today. It's the 294, which is great for for these telescopes. You don't need anything else. You have tracking. You have a grab and go telescope, of course. I keep saying. If it's a telescope too, and if you have the money to have a, a bigger aperture, to have it permanent in the same place, always the, the larger the better. Always. Always the larger the better. You can afford a 12 inch with go to or an equatorial platform, go for that. Or even higher, if you have the money. A 24 inch, go for that. Go to, go for that. But if you are on a budget and you just want to try this telescope, as another advantage, if one day you want to upgrade to a larger aperture, with the aperture fever that we all have at some point in time, you will have this telescope to the holidays, to go in a weekend and take the telescope because it's so small and compact. Astrohib, Astrotib, Salted Wasabi, Astrotib. Astrothib, I think I have um, I have a, a picture in to the community pictures. Now, I gave a bit of time <laughs> to wait for the Helix Nebula to go up in the sky. Let me check if there's a mess or not. I think it is a mess for that side, but I I can see Jupiter, but Jupiter. We will do Jupiter, but after the, the, the next uh, full moon. I will wait for a better opportunity. This is not the time to, to do Jupiter. I did it already, but deeper in the night. I did, it, I did Jupiter with this telescope, with uh, the red spot there. It's a beautiful image. But I want to do it uh, in, uh, in real time with you, so I will not spoil it. Yes, order it because uh, anywhere because it's uh, it's wonderful. If you are on Europe, order to Astro Art. It's our sponsor and they have great uh, customer service and uh, also good shipping prices. Very cheap for for, for the, my country at least. How's the moon looking with that telescope? Because I'm interested on buying it. The moon it's good in any telescope, even in, with my fifty bucks maybe. Refractor, the moon is fine. I thought it made a funny comment about Taylor. <laughs> Who knows, man? Uh, we just let our imagination flow. We have uh, two options to believe or not believe, and that's it. And both are respectable. If you don't believe, it's okay if you believe. I believe because of the probabil probabilities. That's it. So, we have here skin Sin Scan application this application is the application the only application you have to use 
to connect the the um, the go to telescope this 6 inch with uh, with uh, your laptop via wi-fi it's uh, uh, an independent wi-fi you can use this in any place even that you don't have internet you don't need internet for this it's an in independent wi-fi it's aligned or already i always uh, i still have some weird um relationship with this telescope alignment because my floor is not aligned and uh, i didn't understand very very well it's not very accurate but then it learns let's see deep sky alex is the number alex let me check alex helix and you see i will copy here from here i will copy from here and i'll will just click on go to and it will go at least near the helix let's see how it how it works Yes, you can observe it uh, visually, the larger the aperture the better, the sing, the, you want a good sing to watch this kind of objects, but it's, I think it's the brightest, the brightest planetary nebula in our sky. The second one is the um, dumbbell, this, this is, I think it's the brightest one, it's faint and it's not colored, and this nebula in a, through a camera it's beautiful Do, did you see the the image i took already but with a good scene a better scene i think it was a uh, friday or saturday i don't remember i posted on the um, on the community tab i will show you now we will not get this image today because of the sky but look at this this was let me see 91 frames of 10 seconds it's here uh, and it was only with a um, topaz denoise over it at the end and I didn't touch the color nothing this is as is I was lucky because the stars were um, you can see the stars are good because the tracking was fine, was no wind, and, and was tracking fine. This telescope is not so sensitive to the wind, uh, and it is. It was at a good position in the sky, and almost and uh, also higher in the sky. This has to be higher, and this is with a focal reducer. You, you know that there are people there. There was people that uh, think this was fake a fake uh, picture they don't believe that it was with a with a six inch telescope and uh, to people like that i just block them i delete them from my my life maybe they they can watch me here doing doing what we do do you know any equatorial months with go to i got uh, uh, 130 newtonian there's a lot of them just Lo lot, lots of equatorial mounts. Mounts is what we have more. They are expensive, the good ones. They are expensive. They are not 500 bucks like this telescope. To all. Is this a live view of the Alex or pre recorded fo footage? Live view. Uh, Zelovsk uh, VFX. Uh, I always do live view. I don't like to pre record the uh, live stream. I like to watch the sky with you mainly because I like to connect with you to speak with you to understand you better this is all about you that was no you don't have to be envious you have to do the same <laughs> do the same it, it's just this focal reducer is a trick sharp cap uh, decent seeing portal 5 decent seeing not nothing special but but much better than today. 
Good night, Gary. I haven't seen this nebula, but I will be looking for it with my 8 inch tub. With an 8 inch tub, it's even better. You will get more detail and the 12 inch even more. Even more detail. Zillo. Zillos. Do you have any tips with astrophotography with a phone? My maximum exposure time is 30 seconds. Uh, look, Zillow. I don't like at all to do astrophotography with a phone. I I did a video with astrophotography, but it's the, the sky view, the Milky Way, that I like with uh, my S21 uh, Ultra from Samsung. And if you have an iPhone, the modern ones, and even the, the last uh, models, they work fine to, to do uh, some kind of sky astrophotography but not for uh, for uh, for objects in the sky individual objects no you can with a loads of effort to take pictures of the planets it's funny for the first time you don't have a, a camera you just place the 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 smartphone to the eyepiece you take a picture a not very good picture but but forget it if you uh, if you have uh, if you can afford it buy an astro camera the larger the sensor the better the same as the telescopes the larger the aperture the better with the dobsonians and the camera the larger the better you will you will uh, thank me later now let's go to the um, elix so i don't have sorry i don't have tips because i don't do i don't like the the now, even that we are with the Alex, I don't know because of the sky. Usually, it's very faint. Usually, I can see something. Let me check with uh, the trick of the mini histogram if I can see anything. Usually, with a trick, but the sky you see is so so bad today. So green, so green. This is clouds, but we can see something. Now, what I do, and I advise we we have a, a bit of tilt in the focuser. You see, but I will not touch it. It's not a focuser, it's the camera. This, this has two, two screws to tighten. Sometimes one is more tight than the other. And we can see a bit, just a bit of tilt. Um, let's see. Ah, what I want to recommend you. If you have a go-to, doesn't matter the, the telescope. And sometimes the go-tos, or you are, you are not sure, like I, I'm not right now, if the nebula is here, no, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. <laughs> I'm watching the nebula right now. It's here. My eyes were were searching while I, I was speaking, and I, it's I have the, the experience already. It's here. Maybe you can see it already. Do you see it here? Can you see it? I think yes. Now, but I want to give you this advice. Imagine that I, I couldn't see it, okay? If you use my free push to system, it's completely free. You just watch the video, how to do it, install the ASCOM uh, software. It's a small software and connect Stellarium with SharpCap and you just play it solvent. It will say to you where the telescope is pointed. I use it a lot, even with the GoTo telescope. Now, I'm watching it, I will center in it. Let me just do like this, to do it right. And we will see what we can get from here. So, up. Are you watching it? Or no? Up. Now I lost it. Ah, it's, it's almost at the center. No, no. It's at the bottom. I'm doing it wrong. It's at the bottom. Now it's at the center, but at the bottom. I will center it. No, it's the opposite side. With a go to. You see how important it is to have the camera aligned as I have in the focuser. You place the camera always the same in the same position. And you can go up and down without any problems. You see, I go down and the, the object moves up because the telescope is going down. Real, really down. It's at the center. 
bit more. Okay. McCammer, welcome to the channel, to the live stream. I have a 10 inch dog. I want to get pics of Messier objects and moon. As proof of observation to obtain RASC certificates. I don't, I'm not sure what is RASC certificates, but if you want to get pics of Messier objects and the moon, do like we do here with the Dobsonians. Equatorial platform or go to. If it's not a go to, I suppose it's not. You got to have tracking. So, an equatorial platform for that beautiful instrument. Yeah, I was looking into ZWO cameras, but they seem to be very expensive. Of course, man. I've been looking into buying a, a C3i or a 7i for Galaxy and Nebula. I don't know that camera. I recommend the ZWO. The software is always updated, the drivers, the you have uh, many people with, uh, with them. The problems are known with each model. I go, I only buy, preferably, the, um, the ZWO. Save the money for that camera. Uh, wait for the Black Friday, for instance. We are almost there, more or less. <laughs> what other equipment is required? Short exposure, all the stacking, just an equatorial platform. A camera and equatorial platform for your telescope. And you're done, ready to go. Ah, Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. So that's it. And as a bonus, you can share with them in real time also, which is much more beautiful, like we are doing today. Now, let's stack this thing. Let me see the, the altitude. It's still low. You see the background, what I said before for you to pay attention. When we were watching the Bubble Nebula, the, black, the background was much darker. Because of the seeing, the lack of transparency we have here today. Let me just uh, see the altitude and the altitude also. It's a 26. Look, I did, uh, I think I did that uh, picture that I showed you before at 26, but with a better night. We don't have the, the night we had, I had. So we have to, um, I will have to recenter it. I, this is open. Okay, this is going up, it's drifting. I'm watching it. Now, a trick I learned by myself here with the GOTUS is to try to keep it quiet. I think it is. Because now what I'm going to do, that's why I'm centering it, it's using the power of this Dobsonian. So, the Dobsonian power Dobsonian power. power. Connected to the power of the focal reducer, which means we are working at f3.6 much faster. We will collect much more photons with the same time. Okay. And I will reduce the field of view using the region of interest. So I will stack, let's see if it works, this is too, too greenish, 10 second exposures again, I did exact, I'm doing exactly the same I did before, but with better scene, you see, let's see the histogram, let, let me control the histogram because it's a mess, now it's getting stabilized, now auto color, bam, you see the waves, we do the autocolor to get the waves aligned. It's a feature. I don't know if uh, the free version of SharpCap it has. I want to send a, a very important message to beginners, but I will do it in a moment. 
auto stretch now you see lots of grainy noise this is because of the the lack of transparency L look look the histogram all over the place going slightly to the right you see it's moving it's not the histogram is not sure of the position it has to be so it moves it moves because the sky is a mess hold on alexa apaga streaming I think it will not affect the my lights because it's pointing to the other side. No. But to the bubble nebula it affects. No, it isn't it didn't uh, affect. Alexa, enciende streaming. If we were watching the um, to north, I had to shut down the lights. The blue is too much. Maybe affects a bit. This blue I'm I'm playing with the histogram bars here to keep it more or less, you see here, more or less aligned with the, the waves because the waves are going all over the place. The blue, but you see the, as I'm using the region of interest, this is for the people that don't know. The camera now it's using with a trick I use. I have videos about it. The camera it's using just this square at the right, this gray, dark gray square. So it the the sensor it's all this white square, but the uh, the dark gray one it's the the part of the sensor that my camera it's using right now. But with the full power, we are not beaming. We are not losing nothing we just say to the camera don't use this light gray area use all your power in this dark gray and to do that she cuts she cuts you see the rotation and the drifting here at the borders this is the this is not rotation, this is uh, the, the drifting. The rotation will appear as a diagonal cut. Okay. Less blue, a bit, just a bit at the right here. Less blue, align again the bars with the waves. We will get rid of some of this horrible noise along the stack I will push now the mid level bar to the right to cut a bit this let me see the enhancement bilateral filter also helps and unsharp mask it's good for this object you see the main star here this this nebula is wonderful now you we, we are fighting with this vignetting because I don't do flats because I'm lazy I don't w want to waste time doing flats all the sessions that that is good for astrophotographers that they w like to do all that stuff and then they put this working and they go to sleep and tomorrow they they got the picture I don't like that I like to watch this in real time so I, I fight the vignetting if we, we do uh, flats we get rid of this better but i i do that playing with the histogram and that's it you see adjusting again a bit to the right to centering it and in a moment this will be much better this glow from the vignetting here you see we are watching the alex nebula in real time with this telescope the 6 inch Skywatcher go to Virtuoso 150p Heritage Dobsonian telescope. Very nice, 100 bucks telescope. Congrats to the people that uh, that bought it. What's the telescope you use the most? I use it them all. If it's not windy and uh, 
the sky is great. I always like to use my 12 inch top sun and because of the aperture. If it's a bit of wind, but the sky is good, I use the 8 inch. The 8 inch top sonian. For visual, I like this is for imaging. For visual, I like to, to go always to the larger aperture also. For grab and go, this 6 inch. I don't do visual here with a 6 inch. I did just to try it. I don't do because I have better telescopes with better apertures. It makes no sense to me. I just tried it, okay, I, I saw what I can see with it. But this is to do visual or imaging out of uh, my house. If I want, I. it's so compact. Look, look at it. Compacted. I will show you. Look, see? It stays like this. And you can take this, the, the tube, you just unscrew this knob and you can separate it from the base. And this is so light. So this is wonderful for uh, grab and go, which is a problem we have in the Dobsonians. Of course, they are heavy. And not only grab and go in the winter if uh, we don't want to spend much time. You come from work. You still have time, you get your dinner and uh, nothing on the television or nothing to do and you still have time until you go to sleep. You watch the sky and it's beautiful. Okay, you have, let's say, half an hour, one hour to go and watch the sky um, in that time. You place this telescope outside and you quickly have the, um, the things set, uh, setting up to, to watch without any but the Dobson and the other Dobson it's the same but if you are tired from the, your your work during the day this is not so much a cumbersome and uh, the 12 inch if you are tired and it depends on your strength or, or health this one surpass all of those problems and obstacles that we sometimes have I will never, if I was tired from work, I have one hour to go outside and watch something. If I had a refractor with all that stuff, uh, or uh, cables and all that stuff to, to place outside to image a lot, I would not have the patience to do that. For instance, people, some people have it, but I don't. The Dobby is Altezimut. It will track, got access to me. If you will track, you're done, man. Just to have to, to get a camera, a good one. You ask whatever you want. What does a focal reducer do? I know it opens your aperture more. No, it lowers, it doesn't happen the aperture. Uh, the aperture is the aperture. This has 6 inch and that's it, it stops there. But uh, it um, lowers the focal length of the, of the telescope. The telescope will work in a shorter tube, let's say. The, the mirrors will be, and the sensor, everything will be much close to each other. The photons, it will work, the mirrors will work, the optical um, components will work much faster gathering the light, the photons. So for instance, now I'm doing 10 second exposures. Each 10 second, is a frame. In 10 seconds, the telescope grabs uh, a number of photons and the camera processes them, transforming them in, with the, in electrons and all that stuff, that process. But if I'm not using the, if, if I, I, I was not using the focal reducer, to grab the same uh, quantity of photons to process, I will have to use a longer exposure time. So instead of 10, for instance, I don't know because I don't make the calculations, but for instance, I will have to use 15 seconds longer exposure to have the same quality of image. 
So that's great. Using a focal reducer or having a low um, a low focal length telescope to that is already a low focal length one. It's wonderful. Nowadays it's the way to go, it's fast. Super fast. There was a time with uh, the long uh, focal length Dobsonians and that I think that's why I think that's why one of the reasons that there are people still stuck in the past they are with a mindset completely obsolete they don't believe that I do this they think this is fake with the pictures I, sh I share that's why I do also the live streams for people to, to watch in real time that it's impossible to fake here because I'm doing this all of this in real time if uh, I fell on the ground you see in real time me falling all on the ground then there's no way to, to hide to hide the personality to hide the things pure real 100% real what you you are watching here for the good and for the bad <laughs> but it's like that let's adjust just the histogram again lowering the blue again okay let me see the the green okay blue I think like this it's fine I think it's better now we still have a bit of vignetting remember that this nebula with this telescope it's hard to catch it but I know because with a 12 inch I catch it this nebula it has nebulosity here around uh, red one from hydrogen it has here nebulosity but this part here we can see with a 12 inch Dobsonian and also probably with 8 inch I don't remember Hello Roy, now for the people that uh, enter it now, we are doing EAA, Electronically Assisted Astronomy, which is live stacking with sharp cap software, which means we are stacking 10 second exposures, 10 second, more 10 second, more 10 second, more 10 second, one after another, to improve along the, the stacking, this image we are watching in the screen. We are using a 6 inch go to Skywatcher Virtuoso Telescope, so it tracks the sky, it's covered, it's covered with this shroud and we are using the camera 294MC color from the ZWO it's an AZ-294 which is a camera that I strongly, strongly recommend if you have a Dobsonian it's the best one for me right now with a relationship with price and quality, of course there are much more expensive good cameras but the best relation quality and price it's the 294 the 533 it's also good but I don't like I prefer to watch uh, the, the, the this is larger because it's like a rectangle and the uh, 533 it's uh, more like a square and I prefer like this it has a, a bit more of uh, image here and besides if I, I I will show you if I want to see all the screens are rectangular we don't have square screens at home okay so I prefer always to use this in uh, in this uh, resolution so it's it's the one that I recommend for anyone if you don't have the money now it's uh, more expensive but it will be more expensive in the future don't take off your mind they are everything will be expensive there were many many years many many years with uh, loads of money to the markets now somebody has to pay that and we all uh, are paying and we'll keep paying that I bought the Virtuos GTI Congratulations! I knew it already, you Greg. 
I knew that, that you you bought it. Bought the, the Virtuos GTI and I can attest to what Tiago is saying. With a five month old baby and a three year old, sometimes I'm too tired, of course, and no time to take out my 10 inch job. But the 6 inch is so easy. You know I, how I understand you. I also have two kids. I don't work for anybody. I have my own business. A part of this business, which is this channel. I have my own business, which is the, the, the main business of my life for many years. And uh, I know very well what is coming because I worked from the past. I work from my 17 years old that I work and study. I made all my studies and I always worked. And I know very well which, what is to arrive home, tired. Sometimes we have bad days at the office or at the wherever the work. The life is as it is. It's not always great. Sometimes it starts great the day and the, it ends bad or whatever. We get tired at home. We have the kids. We should pay attention to the kids. It's not good to come home and sleep and wake up, eat, sleep, wake up, eat, sleep, wake up and only be with them at the weekend. It's good to have a, a bit of extra energy to play with the kids. They deserve it. And they, it's, it's not their fault <laughs> to be in this world. It's our fault. So our responsibility. And it's very hard sometimes. And we just, you have a good sky that night, but you are so tired that you think, okay, tomorrow we will be good uh, anyway. And you, you start thinking, oh, I have to connect that cable. I have to connect another cable. I have to align uh, whatever. I have to do this, I have to do that, and it's too much. With the Dobsonian, we don't have that problem, because we don't have a, a mess of cables, but we have to grab that beast, which is the 10 inches, also, also a beast, and have that extra energy, again, to place the 10 inch outside, or the 12 inch, or, or whatever, and it's so hard. If you are lucky, you have an, uh, an observatory, or something permanent, it's much better. This telescope, it's it's so easy, so easy, so easy, so easy. Especially at the end, when I finish the stream, I just disconnect everything here, the software. I just pull the cable out of the camera and that's it. I place it here, place the cap. I don't even touch the camera. I place the cap and I place um, a tissue because of the dust and that's it. It's wonderful, wonderful. I'm very, very happy with it. I, I wanted to Astro, Astro Art. Astro Art, it's our sponsor. I asked them to send me this telescope because I knew, I knew, I, I feel that this is a good, um, a good telescope for us and for you. Let me check the chat. No bots today. Good. Uh, Quasar, no, not yet. We'll see here in the live stream. I was tracking one Quasar the last year, but uh, it, I had not the good opportunity and. The focus is the less concern that you have with this telescope. Much less than with other the other telescopes I have. I will show that in the video I will do about the, this telescope. This telescope, you can use everything with this telescope. But if you are uh, talking about your 10 inch, the trick is to move the mirror, if you can't get focus, you move the, um, to, you use the, the focal reducer like I'm using today, near the sensor. If even like that you don't get focus, you have to change the, the, the knobs, the collimation knobs for larger ones, just that. You don't, have a, don't even have to take off the, the primary mirror. 
you just have to replace one by one. I have a video about that. You can watch me doing that. It's and you one inch it's enough for for you to have focus with everything. Good evening, Linux Astro. Red, Tiago, you are an amazing soul. I have learned so much through you. Good. I all I'm always learning from you. You don't know, but one day I will tell you. I learn a lot from you also. Yes, this uh, this to watch quasars with a six inch. Maybe uh, we can. There's one quasar that it's the brightest one in the sky. I think it's uh, on Neptune or the the winter that it pops on the sky. I don't I don't remember, but I track that quasar. Life sometimes is so hard and connecting with the sky gives me peace and joy. Of course, it's all about that. Look, <laughs> I ask the question. Uh, I like to, to make polls uh, at sometimes and at the beginning of the live stream. A 16 shop? Yeah, of course it is. 16 is a good aperture Linux, as you know. What is your personal favorite object in the nice sky? Oh, so many. This one is one of them. This one is beautiful, 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 beautiful. I can touch now the histogram again to readjust. You see that it moves already again. I will adjust this. You see the rotation now? I will show you. I think we are getting my chimney now because of the color I'm watching here. But no, no problem. You see the rotation? It's here. I, I will boost this for you to see. The image will get a mess now, but look, this is a rotation, it's like a diagonal, you see? It's cutting, not in vertical, but in, in a diagonal. This is a rotation. Now I, I will stabilize the histogram again. This was only for you to see. Now, I will save a picture right now, because I don't know if we can... I think now we, we will have the, my chimney. Hold on. Yeah, probably. Let me look uh, outside. O hold on, please. No, we passed already the chimney. It has a, a bit of chimney, but not a problem. Maybe not a problem at all. So, histogram again. Let me check this. To get it beautiful for us to see. We start getting... I don't know if you can see it. But... We start getting the um, out outside the external nebulosity here at this side we start getting it on the screen we have already 24 minutes i usually don't do too much or so much but i am doing it because we are streaming so it's different Now I was saying I I uh, I like to do the polls. Do you know what I uh, what I was going to ask you today? But then I changed. I don't know. I was asking to you today. Just one thing: yes or no. Are you happy with yourself? And just that question. But then I I thought and okay, I don't. I will not ask this. This is all about. Moments of happiness. Nobody is happy all the time. 
and this with me for me to be here with you all this time in the live streams it's a moment of happiness to me i disconnect the live stream and i feel good always how can i don't like to stream i have to like it <laughs> Any filter? Yes, I use always. I've, I I almost forgot to say that because uh, it's I assume it's part of the camera, and I strongly recommend with the ZWO cameras, all of them, uh, as long as they don't have the infrared cut inside, uh, you have to use uh, at least an infrared cut filter, which is what I'm using right now. It's an infrared cut filter. I usually I in the 12 inch I use a. Uh, a Bader Neodymium, which is a bit stronger. It's a soft filter, but it has already built in uh, the infrared cut and almost all the, the um, UHC uh, filters to light pollution, they have all you know, infrared cut. But the infrared cut all, all only cuts infrared. It's from Bader, it's, for me it's the best infrared cut filter. It cuts uh, very well and it has 98% of um, yes we will see send me the image keep sending me the images I have uh, a few to, to for us to watch today keep sending me the images because I will get them on the on the screen on the live streams and some of them will be in the shorts sometimes I will from now I will do once a week maybe a, sh a short of uh, some moments and uh, some of them will be with uh, your pictures I pick one I will pick more pictures from you and uh, as long as you send me to show here otherwise I don't show any picture you send me privately of course but uh, it's it will be funny in a few years you Come back here and watch. I imagine Mazif. I did that short to Mazif to, with a picture. It will be funny. I did it thinking uh, uh, in Mazif. Not uh, this doesn't get loads of views. And in, in a few years, you will watch those uh, videos or that part of the video, and you will feel joy. I think. At least it's what, uh, what I think. Pedro, I was already considering the GTA GTI, and Tiago made me buy it. <laughs> I didn't pay you buy it. Hold on. The sponsor with two kids, two and five. Yo, uh, I already used it more than my big boy last year. Yes, we all. I'm I'm having so much fun with this, and it's natural now. This live streams I'm using it because I'm this is like a toy <laughs> for us <laughs> and uh, it's I really understand what you what you have because I have two childs the time is precious nowadays that's why I don't want to lose your time that's why I do compact videos I try to not waste your time I cut a lot from my videos now you notice uh, that I do small compact videos to have all the information that I think it's valuable to you and don't waste in your time and I really think these live streams will be valuable for you whether you are uh, an experienced guy or a beginner if you are a beginner you ask whatever you you want in this matter I have experience and what I don't have experience I say I don't uh, I don't lie to you what I don't know I don't know but what I know and I I know because I do every night I can I I obsess it with Dobsonians and I place any of my Dobsonians outside and I do this I do that I test this I test that now I'm I will test something I want to test something with the other subscriber that talks with me 
loads of things. Mine is the Ors Ed uh, Nebula or Pillars of Crash. Crash, and of course, they are beautiful. Mine too. <laughs> My favorite target is the one that isn't behind the tree tonight. <laughs> that tree, don't cut it. If you can. Tahir, el welcome back. Hey Tiago, just got that scope too. Oh. <laughs> Another one, and this one is for you, and also for Pedro. Thank you very much for your inspirations. Will the filter like an optolong make sense to cut some light pollution and make the nebula colors pop? Maybe. Uh, Look, Optolong, it's a, uh, a general designation, it's a brand. They have narrow band and they have the, the like the Alpro, it's broadband. I made that video, you probably watched because you are a member of this channel, of the comparison with filters and it has the Optolong. The Optolong uh, is a, a filter that I would use if I, I don't, I will not have the Bader Neodymium. Because a Bader Neodymium is a bit softer than for my Bot Bortle 5 without any strong lead now here, it's good for me. But the Optolong works very well also here and for Bortle 6 and 7 probably will fit very well. The narrow band, I don't use narrow band just because of, that's it, my laziness. If I want to use a narrow band with this Nebula now, I had to change the filters, place another filter, shoot in, in narrow band and then I want to go to another object with which I sometimes I do and um, I had to change again I don't like to touch the to change filters during the night in darkness because I I don't know why sometimes I always put the finger on it I have to stop everything to clean that and see if it's okay again I don't know my fingers it seems like they have magnets to the filters so if you are talking I don't know very well tell me your Bortel Tahir your Bortel Sky and what uh, and which Optolong are you talking about because I'm sure you have in mind if you are talking about Optolong you have in mind something already you make people like happy Tiago that's priceless that's my goal. <laughs> That's my goal. And I like very much to be with you. Quality people. I prefer less. Less is better here. Of course, we have more quality. It's, it's, it's the goal here. But less sometimes is better. Get rid, get, get rid quickly of the negative people around you. That's the my trick in my life. And I have pretty much good moments of um, of happiness except things are things that life gives us that we don't depend on on people on I, I will tell you that story one of these days maybe after summer I will tell you a strong story about me and astronomy and my family uh, a deep deep feeling story that we you will love it I enjoy joining you here and always learn something. That's the goal, Gary. Hello, Gary. Yes, I try to give you one tip today, one tip another day. What I, I share with you, I experienced a lot. I repeated a lot. So I, I am sure in what I, 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 I'm doing. When I'm not, I tell you, of course. Ah, Elder, waiting for the Pleiades, yes, the Pleiades are now deeper in the night. Elder, send me the picture <laughs> after you, you capture it. And if you want, if you have a camera, any of you, I am I'm always saying, if you have a camera and you are like me, you have not a shame <laughs> to expose your, yourself to the world, you can, I, I throw a link here sometimes we do that I threw a link here and you come just for two minutes just to tell you tell us where you come from what's are your what is your setup and 
that's it for we know to you better but if it's uh, it's doing great but it's not an example I don't want the beginners to take Mazif as an example because Mazif it's doing uh, faster than expected. It's not uh, the standard. Cloudy. <laughs> Nunu is always cloudy. Yes, today we have uh, haze from, from the... we have lots of clouds. But anyway, we can... I'm letting this stacking more and more to get a better image I can. Let's readjust this. It's we are getting the the rotation, but you see the rotation now. We at the end we cut this, we cut it, and no problem with the rotation. Now boost a bit more. You see now it's getting better, and with much less noise around the um, the nebula, we are getting fine now. Oh, at the end we will get a, a nice look at this. It is fine. Even with this, all this thing. Then with the topaz denoise we will make the miracle. Now I want to send a very very important message for, for the beginners. EAA beginners are people that want to come to EAA. I want you to do just one thing. And don't think in anything else. If you have already a camera and a telescope with tracking and a laptop. I want you to... Install, install Sharp Cap, and play with it. Just that. Install Sharp Cap, the free version. If you don't want to play right now, connect the camera to the laptop and play with it. Just play. Point to the an object and play with it. It will be a mess. Don't worry. Play with it. I want you to do that. That's my message for uh, for beginners right now. Nothing more. So your homework. <laughs> uh, Linux, thank you very much. Thank you. You are welcome. You are very nice people. So many people buying thanks to you. Skywatcher should pay you a commission. <laughs> no. Yes, they should pay you. No, no, no jokes with that. They should pay you. Kevin from Skywatcher. Are you watching me? For sure, because you like live streams and you like very much Dobsonians. I watch you. Send me the commission. Show me the money. Now I explain to you. I have already a sponsor here in Europe. It's AstroArt. It's a very nice company. And while we have this good relationship, that uh, a healthy relationship, we will st be sticking together. The day I I I see that the uh, relationship with a sponsor doesn't work w well for the channel, which means for you. I'll just uh, have to, to end the relationship, like every relationship. As I said to you, I have my own business. This, uh, my family lives from, and I lives from that business, outside this. So this business, it's good, we want to grow, we are growing, but it's, it's not crucial. I, I, the goal is to, to have a good community here, a healthy one like we have today. This is my happiness. Thanks for the explanation. I'm in Bartal 7, was thinking L Extreme Pro. To the light pollution, uh, Tahir, the L Extreme and um, the L Enhance, and now the, the new one they have, the L Ultimatum, it's the name. L Ultimatum. They have another, uh, a new one. They are expensive, but they are very, very nice. They are extreme. They are narrowband filters very nice to do EAA with light pollution however I think that with the uh, uh, L Pro you would work fine that's a question of because you could watch one uh, one object another object the L extreme it's just for some some uh, objects not for all you can watch uh, a galaxy for instance with uh, with the L Pro. Dob Dobsonian power, the light bucket. <laughs> Dobsonian power. power. Of course. 
Dead of Sun and Power. Hey Linux, you got, you got the question. Linux loves Linux. He is the guy of Linux. If you love the Linux, you just ask him. Now, let's readjust this because I will take the last snapshot. So I want this to be... Doesn't matter the, the rotation because I will cut that. I think we have noise, but I will get rid of it with... Uh, I will save like this. It's noisy here. You see? But I want to catch this nebula and we now we do the quick astrophotography. Hold on. I will open Topaz. For the people that don't know, I just use uh, Topaz Denoise and do a quick astrophotography with it. Nothing more. I don't like to... You see the colors? I like to preserve the natural colors of, uh, of the nebula. Now, I open this in the, in the noise, you see. And look what the noise does with this nebula. It's updating. Bam! Look at this. Beautiful. Just wonderful with a 6 inch dob. Elix Nebula. 6 inch Dobsonian. 243 frames. So 10 second exposure each, each frame. Gorgeous. At least for me, I love this nebula. It's gorgeous. I think it's even better than the last one with a better scene. Because we had longer uh, time of exposition. A longer life stack. And I bet if I use instead of 10 seconds, I used 15 or even 20, we could have a bit more of detail. Now, for people that want to buy this telescope, I remember I, I'm honest with you, I remember that we got beautiful pictures like this, easily, as you could see, for the skeptical guys and girls. But the difference is, and I will show that in further videos, you know I like to do videos with comparisons. And I, I, I did this nebula with uh, other telescopes. With a 12 inch, for instance, you will get much more detail. Sorry, I, I touched the image. And it's updating again. I zoomed it. We will get much more details in every object, almost every object. These lanes here, this nebulosity here, in the inner circle around the alien, the blue region, will be much more sharper and defined. So, take that in account. The larger, always the better. And as you could see today, all also with bad seeing. So when people say, when you, you listen people say, that, look at the difference here, that the aperture doesn't matter. For imaging, it matters. If you are watching, let me open the. If you are watching a small object, that's the power of the Dobson, and it's for small objects, faint and small objects. Okay. This is the image. Now we will crop. Of course, for visual, if you have a large Dobsonian. You will need a darker sky to watch better. But doing EAA, and that's the beauty of EAA, you can go through that light pollution much better with, in an efficient way and grab those photons and the camera does the job with the software. And this can only get better to the future because the software will be better and better. Robin is all, all, always upgrading, 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 doing this better for us. It's their business, it's his business. And the cameras also. Right now we don't have, I don't feel that I have any camera 
better for that suit my needs. But I'm sure in the future, maybe next year, I don't know, they will do the things better for us. So it will get better and more expensive. Take that in, in account. So now what I do is to cut this, you see, the rotation, we just cut a bit here. We don't want to magnify too much because it's big enough like this because we want to get this the velocity we cut a bit of the the bottom also okay i think it's it's fine let's do this more or less concentric now i will save this as a copy in the same oh this is this will be my final image Elix. Elix. Six. And now, what we can do if you want, you can do whatever you want. You can do with Pix Insight and whatever you want. But I will not touch it. But what you can do is to open, for instance, in a free software. This is for beginners. Uh, it's not this one. Sorry. This one was the. Um, Okay. And you can mess with it here, you can play with it, you can zoom, Adobe Photoshop Express, free on Windows software. Of course it doesn't have the, all those features, if you like to play with uh, all that stuff, I don't like, it's not my stuff, it's not for me. And you can play here, just a quick uh, thing, exposure, you can play if you want to adjust better the exposure, the contrast. You see, to cut some things, the highlights. See, like this. The shadows. The whites. I don't like to touch the color. Blacks. Because I really, really love the to keep the um, the original color, and that's it. Now you save and you share it if you want for people to watch your your uh, amazing work. Pedro, Tiago, any pro tip and trick to make focusing easier with the helical focuser on the GTI Virtuoso with a camera, maybe also a barrel on the top of it? Absolutely, I have a excellent, an excellent trick to do that and it's what I do. Just, I just don't use the helical focuser, I just use the helical focuser to fine tune, because as I have the camera in the position, hold on, this is a 224, I insert the camera, I have uh, always something like a marker, I have here a sticker, a sticker, you see, the sticker, here, I have that sticker to, to know where I position the camera, in the focuser. And I know already, this camera is different than the other, the position. The 294, I know already what to do to have the camera aligned. Let me place this one, it's more beautiful now. So I have always the camera aligned. And then I move the sliders up and down, up and down. I adjust, I focus, I'm outside. Adjusting the sliders up and down. I know I have a mark on the telescope also with a sticker that I know where is the, the mark, the position for the focal reducer, the position for the barlow and the position without anything, any access, access, accessory. 
So for instance, for the focal reducer, I have to move the sliders, the truss, no, down to get a, a lower uh, focal, focal length. So I move the sliders to the sticker that I have. I know already where it is, but it's not focused. I move a bit up and down the sliders to fine tune. And then I, I screw, I tighten the, the screws that the knobs they have and then I just fine-tune always watching to my monitor outside but watching my monitor until I get the focus like that if you just fine-tune a bit just two or three millimeters when you go to the go to to this to this uh, arrows here uh, you are not watching hold on to these arrows here in the scene scan application, every go to have uh, has got, uh, arrows. You will keep the horizontal movement and the vertical movement. You know what I mean? You will not change much this. You can be a bit more to the right, a bit more to the left, but not important, not relevant. So that's the way I will show that, explain that better in in the in the video and yes this is a pro tip i don't see people doing that and this has something to do with this i'll show it with this cover this shroud i have here the shroud is very important you see but i do the i did the shroud in a different way than the other people do because of that uh, that feature i will show that in a video it's 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 important and it's it works like a charm it's very nice to work with this telescope now i'm very happy <laughs> it's it's still easier to work with an equatorial platform hold on it's just place it and that's it no alignments needed it depends what is the ideal exposure time and iso for triangle we don't use I you are asking iso because of the the, the telephone the smartphone but uh, i don't know with a smartphone i don't know i'm sorry i really don't know it for this nebula for the triangle galaxy it's a mess with a with a smartphone here i use the game can be different it depends this is, this is not catching up anymore. I will stop the stack. I will show you. It moved already. That's why it's it's not catching the object now. It moved already. Um, I used again here. I used 350. Not now. Now, now it's at the top because uh, it's not catch capturing nothing. But to capture I use 350 gain, but that can be different. If you have a different camera and if you have a different um, setup and sky, you have the reference that I have, 350. But some people work better with 300 and other people with 400, for instance, or more. Now, it's time for the... Community pictures. That's right. I will show you some pictures that I have here, just a few. Keep sending me pictures. You have my email. I can't tell that here because of the bots, you know already. You have my email on my channel page in the about section. Scroll down and hide the email. And it's there for you. Just send me. Tell me your telescope. Tell me your telescope and if possible the name of the object. And that's enough. And identify yourself. Today we have... From Greg. From Australia. The, the one that has the, the Reddit Equatorial Platforms group. And let me remember the telescope. 
it was a 6 inch one with a 6 inch and two I think with a 10 inch knob let me check it let me just check it here so Greg um, was yes 10 inch f5 Dobsonian the camera is the SV Boney 405 CC a tracking platform that he made itself himself and test se 10 second uh, frames Bader new the immune moon and sky glow filter the one I use with a with a 12 inch Dobsonian it's the Omega Nebula and the Eagle Nebula that, let's see them this is hold on very beautiful the Eagle I will rotate it just for us to see it in the in another position look the details this was with a 10 inch tops on and in an equatorial platform look the sharpness of the pillars of creation he got it and this that uh, i don't remember the name they call here that hubble um, captured it also in detail the stars very well collimated beautiful this is from Greg and it's beautiful it's the Eagle Nebula and then we have the Omega Nebula also from Greg and it's also beautiful with a 10 inch Dobsonian telescope equatorial platform the 305 camera from SV Boney and I'm I'm surprised because I I didn't think that with that camera you, you could get so much detail. Look at this detail here. Uh, with a Dobsonian telescope. If I share this, they don't believe. They will say this is not a Dobsonian. Now now look with a six inch like I have today, the Virtuoso. This is this uh, amp glow or some light leaks forget it I will zoom it this is a sculpture galaxy beautiful this is beautiful with a six inch I never uh, watched it with a with a six inch remember he bought after than me the six inch virtuoso and he's already doing this sculpture galaxy six inch Dobsonian go to Skywatcher virtuoso telescope the one we are watching with tonight beautiful beautiful amazing job greg amazing now we uh, still have from astro -Tiv. let me remember the telescope he used Now this is an example of a 18-inch Skywatcher and a ZWO-224 also with an equatorial platform so a pure setup for a typical setup that a beginner can afford an equatorial platform, a ZWO-224 is a cheap camera and an 18-inch Skywatcher which is also a popular telescope Now we have Jupiter you can see the moons here, two moons. Beautiful. Of course, this is a, a work of planetary imaging. You saw me here already doing it. And now, this is the Hercules cl cluster, I think. Yes, it's the Hercules cluster. Let me see if we see the, the Y. Mm, I think this is the Hercules cluster. Let me check. But as it is a ZWO-224, he has to cut, of course, because it is a small sensor. You see another thing that a, a, a large sensor 
M13, yes, it's the... It's the, the um, Hercules cluster, a uh, beautiful cluster. Probably the, one of the most beautiful ones. And the Ring Nebula, also with the 8 inch. You see, when the tracking is decent, you can get the, the, the inner star of the Nebula, the Ring Star, um, roundish. See the chat. I started with the SV Bonnie. Okay, good to know. I didn't know that camera because the problem is that I saw, and it's a problem for everybody. I saw pictures took with that camera that were not so good here and there, many places, and I create the misconception of of that camera and you prove you proved me that I was wrong you see that that's why it's important for you to share with us with the world we can see different setups the results your evolution thanks Tiago very kind for sharing my images the SV 405 CC has the Sony 294A okay it's the new one they have so same as your ZWO. Yes, it's the same sensor. I know. I know they have that uh, that camera now, but it's cooled. I think no, it's cooled. It has cooler. I think it has cooler. Okay, so for you that send me the pictures... Congratulations! And now, as an exception, I will disconnect Sharp Cap and just for the people that have that curiosity, you will see the time I spend uh, storing that telescope. Okay, hold on. Close camera, of course, always close the camera, close sh sharp cap. Disconnect the power bank. And close the um, the finer. You see? That's done. And now I do this. You see, this is for the sake of the not grabbing dust. So thank you AstroArt, my sponsor, to get me this telescope. And I see you the next time. Thank you for being here. Bye bye. Have a nice week. 
I will try to stream again this week. We, who knows? <laughs>